What's going on guys? It's Mike Dart 13 and it's been a good day for me. For those of you, I haven't really said anything on my channel because I didn't really want to jinx myself. But did my level one London FA qualification, uh, not London FA, sorry. My level one FA, eh, uh, FA qualification. Trust I know when you're fucking drunk. And I passed it, which to me is amazing, because I thought I was going to fail. So I'm just buzzing at the moment, I'm so happy. It's incredible to me that the fact I've done it. Just got to do like a first aid course now, which is easy enough. You know. I've done all my stuff. You know, I mean, obviously coaching, I want to go into football coaching. Football is my life. Um, this is a major step for me and I'm running a course set because I'm a goalkeeper, I should go into goalkeeping training. Which was my idea, really. In case anyone's wondering, Ed Sheeran, you need me, I don't need you. No real meaning behind the song, I just fucking love the lyrics. But I'm so happy that I passed it. I generally thought, I didn't know if I'd be able to do it, because it's... I made a, I had a run through yesterday and it was tough, I'm not going to lie. Sort of a case of... Jesus Christ, my hair is all over the um, It was a case of I need to encourage people more. And then today I thought it would have failed because a group of lads I was working with, it's a nice bike, a um, group of lads I was working with weren't taking it seriously, or that's what it seemed like to me anyway. Because it was all, they were all a bit. They were laughing about it, and I'm thinking, guys, come on. You know, I've gone through yours. I've gone through your course, and now you're sort of sitting there pissing around in mine. You know, I've gone through your what's this, and now you just turn the mick out of me. Stupid, really. I mean, I've just got to do my first aid thing. Just got to do my London. Uh, my first aid course again uh, now, which ain't too bad, really. I mean, I'm not going to complain. Obviously, I've just got to find a club as well. I mean, there's a few. I've had one definite offer that's got cash involved, but that's if they can get a team together. Like my family members watching this, and know who that is. But I mean, I don't know, guys. I mean, people in England know, or any, people who know me know that I want to work with a club. And I want to put my passion into it. And do the job that, do a job in a sport that I love and I will continue to love, hopefully. I mean, you look at the people I went to school with who bullied me and ridiculed me for being, you know, to be fair, overweight. Because, I mean, 13 stone at my age weren't brilliant. But... You know, I've shifted that way and I see them now in like, Sports Direct, so shops, cheap sports shop I agree. You know, they're in sports shops, stacking shelves at shops while I'm like, I'm going to be out in the fresh air, kicking a ball, or not kicking a ball around, but teaching people, or teaching my lads how to play football and okay it might take me a few years or months or whatever to find my proper to find a club that I properly want to work with and who knows maybe one day that will be Dartford I'll be honest I hope it is that'll be my dream nailed I mean I'd, if I can't play for Dartford I'll coach them I don't care 
you know, it's Dartford have been my club for years now and I'd love to coach them one day. Even if it's a youth team, putting their shirt on for one game would be me be my life sorted. Really? I'm not gonna I ain't gonna lie. I mean shit like that is incredible to me. That is a bus. You know? As is the theme of my videos, I'm walking back from college. No idea when this will be going up, because at the moment I'm at my nan and granddad's. And the internet ain't all that. So... But... Really... Sorry, I can't... Really, this is... To be honest, this video is going to be called Hashtag First Step first step of the rest of my life because that's what it is guys that's what it is to me it is the first step of the rest of my life this is, if I hadn't passed today I would have had to wait another year to do it and then I would have been doing my level 2 as well and that would have been too much I wouldn't have been able to do it but now I can sit there and I can say when people say well you've not worked for anything well, sorry, yes I have. I've worked for my refereeing qualification. I've worked to get to college. I've worked to do everything. Almost everything I have that I work for, or that I have, like, my refereeing job, I've worked hard for that. Playing football, I've worked to play. I've gone through getting my legs sorted out. Through, like, just so that I'm able to walk and play and kick a ball cleanly but I don't know guys I mean this is the first step of my life and thank you uh, I'm just doing it again <laughs> thank you to everyone who has supported me through this you know I mean obviously I don't need to thank you all again because I, I do this every freaking video uh, but no, I mean, that's incredible to me that I've done it. I've literally just got to do my first aid and I'm qualified. And I can go out and coach. And I can do what I want to do in the sport I love. Well, I don't want to really... I didn't actually think I'd be coaching until I was like... 30 odd, but... <laughs> might as well get my qualification now and... Spend the next 12, 13 years getting experience. Oh, Jesus. Sorry. Fucking hiccup, uh, burp. Oh, that's clever. Very clever. But no. Bloody hell, this video's dragging. Um, in other news, I hit 13 subscribers, which is my lucky number, so I'm well happy about that. And the 13th subscriber, not a shame to say, was my dad. So he wanted to be the 13th and you've done it dad, you're the 13th subscriber mate, thanks, you know, thank you for supporting me through these. Because I didn't know, I didn't, I'll be honest, I didn't think that you'd watch them like you do. And it means a lot to be honest, anyone who watches them. The fact that a lot of my videos get over 15 views, that's amazing mate. That was a beautiful engine noise. I'm doing it again, I'm being distracted. But you know me guys, I, I'm distracted easily. Who cares? It's me. That's why you watch. To see me be distracted by idiots driving down the wrong side of the road. And motorbikes. Very loud, very nice sounding motorbikes. I'm going off track again. This Saturday, I will be vlogging Dartford's final match of the season. At Lincoln, uh, home of Lincoln. More cars going 